What do you got, Major? More G.I. Joes? Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. So, welcome back to White House Farm. Uh, this is the Merc Cruiser Stern Drive. This is the one that we did the video on replacing uh, a complete uh, impeller, upper and lower. And we're going to go ahead and open this up now and take a look at the uh, top gears and see how everything's looking in here. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and do a stern drive uh, oil change on it. And uh, hopefully everything's looking good in there. And then that way this thing will all be set up and it could just be thrown on another boat. So let's go ahead and take the top off here. And we're going to need a 12 point 10 mil. All right, so remember on these, there's these little slots and that's where you get a flathead in there to go ahead and pop them up, okay? And then right up in here. Just gonna work it back and forth. Oh, Dad. I have one of those. You do? Yeah. You can borrow mine if you want mine. Mine ain't cheating on if you want mine. I, I appreciate it. Able to pop that off of there? That's on there pretty good. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Whoa. All right. No, 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 hang on. We gotta suck that stuff out. We don't want it falling down in there. So a little bit of a nest built up in there. All right, so we're gonna get that with a vacuum so it doesn't fall all down in there. I'll leave it out for you, Okay, it's right there. Yep. You gotta lift it up, get down in there. So everything actually looks really good in here. I mean, you saw from our original stern drive from that first boat, you could definitely tell. This looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and clean this up and we'll put some new top seals on here and then we'll go ahead and start filling it up. Yep. Little little bit of surface rust on there. Not bad though. You see that? 
bar planer. All right, so that's all cleaned up in there, all through here where it's gonna seal. We cleaned up all around that. Now we can go ahead and we're gonna put a little bit of gear lube just up and around here where we just busted off some of that rust and cleaned it off uh, just so it's up on top here and, and soaking on it. It'll flow through once you get this thing going, but this might sit for a little bit, so I just wanna get some up there. All right, so we have our new seal here, and you wanna just rub some of the gear lube oil on it before you put it in there. And now we're gonna go ahead and place it around here. put a little bit rub a little more oil on there just bring it all the way around here and nice and good all right I'm gonna put a dab in here Dab a dab. Dab. Just get this whole thing really good. Remember, it's sitting this way, so this is all going to drip down back into there. And that's why there was probably some surface rust up here from sitting with nothing on it after a while. So, all right, that's all on there. Now we can put this back on. and we'll put our four top bolts back in all right and let's just make sure that we're not jammed up or anything in there yep still able to turn All right, so now let's go ahead and grease these up. There's two, there's one there and there's one there and make sure that the grease is coming out good. to see it come out the side there you hear it pushing some of that old stuff out of there should have some over here too and 
There it goes. And we'll try and wipe up some of that excess grease in there. Some water coming out of there. All right, so we'll get the excess grease out of here. All right, so that's all greased up now, and this is actually nice and loose it's able to spin freely all right so looks good inside we got our new seal on there we went ahead and uh greased up our joints here so this is nice and good now everything looked good inside let's go ahead and do the oil change on this now or actually oil fill since it's already drained all right so we got our oil fill kit let's go ahead and get this together in there all right all right I was just thinking uh, having this in the stand here I'm actually gonna drill a hole right through here uh, that way I can get right there to the oil fill so that way I can leave it right in the stand and do the oil change right from here So now, I set this here, I should be able to run that right through. All right, yeah, I'll be able to hook it up right there. Perfect. All right, so we got it all hooked up now. And now we're just gonna pump it until we start to see it come out the top here. All right, we got our second one. There we go. All right, so we know we're filled. We got our washer in there already. We can go ahead and put the screw in. Make sure that's tight. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the bottom. And since we have the drain plug in here, it's not going to come pouring out um, like when you're trying to drain it. So we'll go ahead and take that out, put our cap and washer in, or our screw and washer in the bottom, and then we'll be all set here. You can order drain screw seals 
That's the number right there. I'll leave a link in the description for everything. that in the bottom now all right so we got the bottom one in and uh, now we'll just uh, wipe it dry and just make sure that we don't have any leaking all right so we are all done with this other than a little bit of uh, maybe sanding and a repaint here but everything else is done on this thing and it'll be good to go to go ahead and throw on another boat so all right guys once again, we hope you like, enjoy, subscribe, stay tuned for following videos coming up. A uh, lot, lot of different things with the boats and stuff. Also check out my other videos and uh, we'll see you in the next one. All right, bye guys. can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.